And we're back, you guys. So let us continue. So last time Clementine got hurt, so let's check on her. How are we doing over there? Okay, it still hurts. Let's have a look at that finger. Now. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. How about if I press here? Ow! Big owl or little owl? Um, medium owl. We're gonna have so to, uh... Um... That's where it hurts the most. We need a bandage for that, I think. Getting an infection might be a big deal now. What do you mean? Just might be tough to get a doctor for. Have to look for a bandage that's over the table over here. Let's go back to her. I think I needed to grab that first, so we're probably gonna get the same dialogue again. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Does it hurt when I do this? A little... not too much. You sure? Yeah. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? You gotta be honest with her. I don't think they will. They want you to be safe. We'll find them if we can. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Okay, so there is one more thing you can get around here. Oh, there's a picture on the floor. That's him and his family. Find anything? Just a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. They had a moment. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, there is something. Well, yeah, talk to her first. How's your fig? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. 
There is something here in the drawer. A remote. We totally need this. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Now you can test it here on the television, but obviously. That's what I figured. Yep. <laughs> but he keeps it anyway, so. And uh, this is locked here. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help them. Yep. So there's nothing else you can do around here except just ex exam the items, but then he'll say that he doesn't need anything and you know, she's gotta leave. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I. Uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. So now we know why he was arrested at the beginning, but... Yeah, pretty much it was like a little fight they had and uh, and it ended up bad, but I don't think he really intended to kill the guy. So let's uh, go outside. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. We can do a few things with this and I think it'll trigger the next scene when we come back inside. be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. So we get to look around and interact with stuff. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. So I think we need something else to reach, can't reach that, that brick. brick over there. We need to open this, but yeah. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Okay, gotta check over there. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. I should have looked at him first so that you can hear like a different dialogue for for him. Open sesame. <laughs> that won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. <laughs> Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? 
Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. A few seconds of searching it, we'll know if he has the keys. So I think we gotta go back inside, because there's nothing else to do around here. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. I can't reach that brick. It's a combination lock. So I think we gotta go back inside, so... Let's uh, hit the door. Let's head back inside. Okay. Another scene should be triggered now, and... Uh, We'll be on our way to open this. Let's go over here. Hey there, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Alright, so we're gonna go straight over there, because there's nothing else to do here. Let's talk to her. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but Glenn is the same Glenn from the show, the Korean guy. He it's basically like a cameo in the game, so it's like the events that happened before the show to him because later on you'll see where he's going to be heading. I honestly don't know why they're so afraid of slow walking monsters. <laughs> like I don't I don't see the point of that. You can just kick them and win. <laughs> before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Now we are on a rescue mission. <laughs> yeah. I got really stuck here the first time because there is one item that you need to interact with to do anything at all and that item I didn't notice it like I'd say about 15 minutes later so 
I'm gonna show you now what item I'm okay, talking about. This is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. If you look over here, you'll see this little pillow. I totally missed it the first time. <laughs> Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Uh, we need to go over I there. On the other side of that car. I, I don't remember, like, really, really good the details of what I'm supposed to do in every place, because I haven't played this game in a while, but I have a good idea. I don't know if the pillow was used here, but I doubt it. Let me look in the window. We need that screwdriver. What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. <laughs> Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Yeah, I need to get something. Oh yeah, I need to get an item before to open the window now that I remember. Oh, that wasn't it. <laughs> Let me go back. Let me look at the other direction. Okay, this guy used the pillow. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. There we go. That was sick. <laughs> and now we gotta interact. Oh, whoops, that wasn't it. We gotta open the door. Uh, here. This is what we needed for to get the screwdriver. Now you can push the car, but that'll get you in trouble. You need to go back now, back to this car, and get that screwdriver. So let's go back to the window. this Wait. let me see the spark plug oh wait it's not a oh, yeah yeah this thing is uh th this is actually used in real life to break windows <laughs> it's like super effective the windows just shatters okay. Scramble brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Now we have to go to the other side, back to the beginning. Because there are some walkers over here and they need to be taken care of before we push the car. So, let's call this one. Oh, again. the car I think it was the here Ow. 
So let's take care of them with axe. Make the choice first and then I'll explain why I make that choice. Because there is a quick choice here. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend when i don't want that it's not christian please just leave me please go Okay, we'll leave. Just uh, try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. Give it to me, please! This is crazy! Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up! Please! Take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! No matter what choice you make, she still kill, kills herself, but giving her the gun willingly, Let's it's... I, I don't think it's, uh... 
I don't know, it's like, in a situation like that, you think that maybe there's a cure. Here they come. Or maybe she won't turn, you know, because you don't know anything about those Get who in. turns and who doesn't turn. So, I think the normal human reaction is to say, no, don't give up, let's, right? let's find some help. Yeah, we had some close so, that's why I choose Glenn's that. <laughs> well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Alright, so this is as far as I'll take it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.